I'm Robert Sapolsky. I'm a neuroscientist at Stanford, and I'm here at Prezi headquarters for a TED Talk. So today we'll be looking at the first ever application of AR, augmented reality, in a presentation tool, and we'll be beaming our presenter here from San Francisco onto the TED stage in Vancouver together with his presentation. The talk is uh, heavily derived from a book of mine, Behave the Biology of Humans at Our Best and Worst, which is basically a look at brains, genes, evolution, and what it has to do with humans being incredibly crummy to each other or incredibly nice to each other. We had the information that it was going to be about his book. He used to have a one hour and a half talk. And the challenge was to figure out how could we translate all this content in 15 minutes for the TED stage, which kind of make the design process a little bit different. You need to let the speaker shine. And Robert was all the time participating and interacting with it. And he gave us great ideas on how we could do the time machine effect. Now, remarkably enough, we've got to push even further back now, back centuries. The whole process went really smooth. We are really happy with the output. Now, actually working with the AR technology, I have a sense, and I'm just beginning to get the first glimmer of what sort of cool stuff you could do with Prezi that, like a slide you couldn't do in a million years. I think it's just gonna wind up like producing a much more natural style of lecturing. The unique thing about Prezi from day one has been the fact that you arrange your ideas in a space to create a presentation rather than in the form of slides. And this has been so exciting that our community has created the world's largest database of publicly available presentations. At Prezi AR, we're moving that forward. Whether at the workplace or in the classroom, you'll be seeing AR all over the place. So if you want to know more about Prezi AR, sign up below.